first of seven. Stand by for a start. Gates spring open. They're off and racing and ready, set, dance. Actually won the start, but now on the outside, if I didn't have a dime, burned it off very quickly and straight to the lead. Noble Influence is up running third, being followed then by It Sure Is, getting back on the rails and dropping out at the tail is Blue Lagoon. Along the side they come, they go past the 700, and it's If I Didn't Have a Dime, three quarters clear from Ready, Set, Dance, who's popped off the fence a length and a half away, It Sure Is. It's tracked up in behind them, approaching the home turn, being followed then by Blue Lagoon and over on its outside is Noble Influence who got shunted a bit deep. At the top of the home straight if I didn't have a dime being nursed by Whiting. A length and a half clear from Ready Set Dance. Over on the inside then came It Sure Is being followed by Blue Lagoon. Noble Influence down past the 200 if I didn't have a dime. It had broken too clear about to get off the fence. It Sure Is if I didn't have a dime. It Sure Is got put back in a pocket from Ready Set Dance. Over on the outside Blue Lagoon. The post is coming. Oh very very tight go. Maybe if I didn't have a dime just scrambled in. Ready, set, dance got a real dive in late after lifting and back on the inside it sure is. Got shunted back into a pocket Blue Lagoon was there as well in a busy finish and dropping out there at the tail is Noble Influence. Think it'll just hold on if I didn't have a dime. It was uh, screaming for the line to come. Number three if I didn't have a dime Jason Whiting Burning to the lead, the gauge was absolutely on E. At the finish for, if I didn't have a dime, it'll just get the money. And it's a flared nostril between it and Ready, Set, Dance in a really busy finish. Blue Lagoon and not getting a lot of room inside of those, it sure is. Looked as though it was coming off the fence but got put straight back in there by Lisa Staples on Ready, Set, Dance. But it'll go the way of three if I didn't have a dime, so the favourite gets their second start in its career by Alfred Nobel from My Lady Fair, owned and trained by Lulu Chiani, written by Jason Whiting, and scores here from Ready, Set, Dance. $26,000 Perth Magic Millions graduate, a safeguard filly out of Steps to Stardom, trained by Paul Jordan, written by Lisa Staples, and on the outside, number one, Blue Lagoon for Goldfront by Sapidu from Chardonnay, Sue Olive and Taj Dyson. Three, four, one, two numbers here after the opening event on the card. But a really busy finish. I'm sure the margin will be not much more than a nostril. And uh, close up Blue Lagoon. So uh, a nose, a short neck and uh, time is to come. Time to come. OK. We've got plenty of that on our hands here this afternoon, so we'll get uh, that from the judges in the next few moments as we go to race number two. And here, number seven's out, Star Power. Once again, a pay to only the six to run. Let's take you down now to uh, Brittany and Jay Whiting. Trainer Lou Luciani would have been absolutely thrilled to see that post come up when it did. It certainly would have, Lou. Were you happy to see the post? Macca just saying you would have been relieved when it came because they were coming at you very, very quickly in the finish. Probably as relieved as Jason would have been, I reckon. But, yeah, no, very, very happy. It's, uh, I was just telling uh, Harrow up there, the, the champion of all trainers, that he is sick and they're sucking on a stubby. That it's an expensive way to get a winner because I, I trained a mother and a grandmother and I bought the stallion to serve, the, serve the, the two girls by that was... Uh, uh, and this is a resultant progeny, so even it was only a, a cheap stadium, but it was uh, was worth worthwhile. Well, if there was ever anyone who knew about the family, it's you, because you've known it from the paternal side, the maternal side, and you're going back to the the granddam as well. That makes you feel young, doesn't it? Well, you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, she's. Uh, she, it was all to do with that little filly called Pr Prim and Proper, who I thought was very smart, and she sort of. She's the three-quarter sister to her, and she's got Prim and Proper's got a full brother at home. So, you know, it was uh, it was just a punt when I, one one day that I decided to do something stupid, but that was that was that. Well, it's paid off today because she's been able to win at her second start, and she is in on Saturday as well. Do you give thought to backing up? I doubt it very much, but uh, we'll see how she pulls up. What about her improvement from her debut her debut to today? Have you seen uh, much improvement behind the scenes from her? Well, she went into the first up probably a bit underdone. Um, I didn't think she was, but she was just sort of the last gallop. She had more of a blow than I thought, and then she got caught deep that day. So it was pretty hard to gauge and, and criticise her on the run. She got beaten five lengths and being three deep without cover. So 
uh, she certainly worked up well since, and it was nice to come here and, uh, and win the race. Well done on a uh, very long-range plan paying off. Uh, well done. Thanks very much, Brittany. There is Lou Luciani. Let's get to Jason Whiting. Jace, looked like you were able to lead in control uh, aboard this uh, horse here today. What were your thoughts over the final stages? Looks like that post was coming uh, probably not fast enough. Yeah, I was uh, getting a bit worried that last 50. I could feel I was just about out of gas and uh, I was just praying that post would come just in time. And she didn't get much luck on debut, so we couldn't really see uh, what she had under the bonnet there, but her trials leading into that performance was still quite good. Yeah, no, nah, she, she sort of did, didn't jump probably the cleanest first up and... Um, where, where I was, I just had to sort of, I thought I was almost going to get three deep, a bit with cover, and then that other one dropped in, so left us a bit exposed, and, but that's no, good, she's learned a bit from the experience, and it's good she got the job done today. Later on today, you ride Classic Magnus, a mare in form from the Great Southern, thinks she can measure up uh, here in the city? Yeah, I think so, she's been racing really well down there, she seems to come back, you know, and really enjoying her racing at the moment, so hopefully with a bit of luck again, um, she'll be right in the finish. Good start to the day. Well done. Cheers, thanks. There is Jason Whiting, and I'm getting a history lesson on the music uh, with Lou just there because the name, if I didn't have a name, Dime comes from a old song, one of his favourites, and he's just got it up on YouTube, and we're just having a little listen to it. So uh, he did say it might put you to sleep. So we'll see. Uh, we'll press yeah, play maybe. and see how I'll it goes. Um, but just try to the horse wins here. At contact just Media Tech. Start. I think it's something coming out of there. They're not feeding it up here, mate, I don't think. I think that's the prop because I can't even hear it through the Elan box. It's all dialed in. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks, E. We have correct weight. Weight has just been notified now after race one on the card. Correct weight declared.